Now, Joe Biden at a time had kind of hinted that he was thinking about running for the White House. And this new video launched exclusively from our program gives us a view into Joe's lonely world. Forget the words presumed, potential and probable. Hillary Clinton is a candidate for president of the United States. Again, this is really all about Hillary. And yeah. it's really not about Elizabeth Warren. It's not about Biden. It's not about Biden. It's not about Biden. This morning, the Hillary Clinton campaign is clear for takeoff. Oh, and I believe she is coming in right now. Yes. The overwhelming favorite for the Democratic nomination. It's going to be quite a ride. She's the clear front runner of the candidate to beat. Her skin is as thick as a rhino's hide. Highlight her softer side. She's a tremendous this public servant. I think she is one of the most qualified people to ever run for this office. You can see the media running behind me here. The reason people aren't challenging her is because of her qualifications. The most experienced and the best qualified. She's by far the best qualified person in America. To chase the Scooby van. I mean, Hillary Clinton is an incredibly hard worker. There's probably no one who's ever run for the presidency that's more qualified. She will be the best qualified person walking into to that Oval Office uh, in my lifetime. Wow. And she's going around to the back. But I see her campaign as an unstoppable train. But they want her in their living rooms. The reporters outside running around crazy look pretty silly. There she goes. But, but you still don't think she needs a serious challenger? Well, the bottom line is she's the most qualified. Wow. She was a formidable candidate in 2008. She was a great supporter of mine in the general election. She was an outstanding Secretary of State. She is my friend. I think she would be an excellent president. Oh, man. Poor guy. Dan Joseph from MRC TV joins me to talk about the absolutely over the top coverage and in loveness that the media has been giving Hillary Clinton ever since the news that she announced that she's running for the White House, she can do no wrong in anybody's eyes. I mean, isn't that, Dan, isn't that kind of how they see it? I mean, after all this time, Hillary Clinton is just as pure as the wind-driven snow. She's the chosen one, but it didn't look that way a couple of years ago, not at all, because the president, I mean, the Obama machine hates the Clinton machine. Yeah, a lot of people assume that. That may be true. I, I just find this circus amazing. I mean, we've known this woman for 25 years. She's run for president before. She's going on this listening tour. She's not answering any questions. And the media is following her around like they're TMZ, you know, watching her eating burritos and stuff. And, and in the media, <laughs> you have all of these, these very interesting stories on the other side, these very interesting candidates. Ted Cruz, Marco Rubio, Scott Walker, Rand Paul. They all have these fascinating stories. And the media is, is, is chasing a van around. I mean, that is ludicrous. And it's, it's sucking up all of the oxygen and not, not getting any other messages across. Yeah. So poor Joe Biden, you know I, feel, I know. I really feel sorry for the guy. And he's actually, in a lot of ways, probably more qualified with his years in the Senate and his years as vice president than Hillary Clinton is. And it's just, you know, everybody's And he's likable. He's a likable guy. I mean, I don't agree with the man on anything, but he seems like he'd be fun at a dinner party, you know? He's very, very likable. And the other thing is about him, that, I mean, the media and the liberal media and the Democrats want a woman. It doesn't matter what the qualifications are. They insist on a woman. And Joe Biden, unfortunately, is an old white guy. I mean, I don't know what he could do. Maybe if he, like, pulled a Bruce Jenner or something, uh, he'd be a more formidable candidate. But I, I just, I, I don't, I don't see it.